Now, the search for the missing passengers of the sunken Soho ferry continues, as does the investigation into what caused this vessel to capsize. Let's go straight over to our Kim Ji-yeon. She has been following the story closely from the very beginning. Jian. Well, Kong Young, the investigative team says it has found evidence that proves the de facto owner of the ferry operator, Yu Byung On, was active in the management of the Cheonggyeji Marine Company. Prosecutors say the ferry operator paid Yu around 9,800 U.S. dollars a month in wages and consultation fees from March 2013 up until February this year. Up until now, Yu has denied his involvement in the management operations of the ferry operator and to prove to prove that he was liable for the ferry sinking, authorities had to work their way up and uncover evidence that he was actively involved with the company itself. Now that the authorities have obtained evidence that suggests he was, prosecutors are expected to charge him for a company mismanagement in upholding safety standards. They plan to summon you for questioning next week. Right, Jian, and anger among the victims' families is growing now. Um, some led uh, the, a march to the uh, to the presidential palace uh, of office of Chongwa Day this Thursday uh, on Thursday night, actually. And this morning, I believe uh, they're still demanding uh, to meet the president. What's the latest? You're right, Konya. The families there want a face-to-face -face meeting with President Park Geun-hye to discuss their grievances, but that request has not been granted. But they were met by the President's office chief of staff. We want to resolve this by having a conversation. You have no idea how long we've been waiting here. The request made by the families also had something to do with the remarks made by the news bureau chief at Korean Broadcasting System, or KBS, Kim ji gun who just several hours ago offered to resign from his post. Kim is alleged to have made comments that downplay the scale of the Seoul ferry disaster, saying that the number of people killed in the ferry sinking pales in comparison to the number of people who die in traffic accidents every year. I'll be back with more updates later today.